Anka, well known for its consumer products like phone accessories, has launched a new residential battery, the Solix X1. We'll dive into whether the Anka Solix X1 can outperform one of its strongest competitors, Point Guard. We'll compare the two products across six key dimensions, as we did in our Tesla Powerwall 3 vs. Point Guard comparison. Configuration, footprint, environmental compatibility, installation and maintenance, load flexibility, and bonus features. Configuration, coupling method. The Anka X1 uses AC coupling only, similar to Franklin Whole Home. While Point Guard's hybrid inverter supports both AC and DC coupling, inverter capacity. Anka offers 3 kilowatts and 6 kilowatts inverters, whereas Point Guard's inverter is more versatile, supporting up to 11.4 kilowatts. Solar support. Point Guard includes for MPPTs, which Anka lacks. Battery capacity. Anka has 5 kilowatt hours increments, scaling up to 30 kilowatt hours, requiring to separate battery stacks 20 kilowatt hours and above. Point Guard offers 5 or 8 kilowatt hours increments, with up to 20 configurations ranging from 5 to 37 kilowatt hours all in one rack. Parallel capability. Anka supports up to six parallel systems up to 180 kilowatt hours, while Point Guard supports seven parallel systems up to 263 kilowatt hours. Footprint. Both are compact systems. However, Anka requires to racks for setups over 20 kilowatt hours, while Point Guard only needs one, making it more space efficient. Environmental compatibility. Anka operates between minus 20 to 55 Celsius and EMA for rated, while Point Guard works from minus 30 to 55 Celsius and EMA for X, providing better corrosion resistance. Point Guard includes a winter coat feature, allowing it to function in temperatures as low as minus 40 Celsius while saving over 70% of energy typically used for heating. This makes Point Guard ideal for colder regions like Canada or coastal areas prone to corrosion, installation and maintenance. Both are modular and easy to install. But Anka uses external cables between battery packs, while Point Guard's integrated hard interface eliminates this external wiring. Anka requires additional CTs, while Point Guard includes built-in CTs for grid, load, and generator connections. Both support easy future upgrades, such as adding battery packs or Point Guard DC EVE charger module with minimal effort. Both products feature a built-in DC-DC function, an excellent design to prevent capacity loss over time. Load flexibility. Both systems include a gateway with a transfer switch inbuilt. Anchor's backup controller and Point Guard's load hub. Both gateway support connections to the grid, generator, and backup panels. Point Guard has five smart load positions supporting five large appliances and 20 smaller loads with duplex, half-pole breakers, with the option to replace a main panel entirely. Anchor lacks this functionality. Anchor requires an additional panel board for more than two inverters in parallel while Point Guard seamlessly integrates up to seven inverters without extra hardware, offering unmatched flexibility. Bonus features. This goes to Point Guard's bi-directional DC charging that's supporting vehicle to home and vehicle to grid. An inbuilt charging module can be installed like a battery pack right below the inverter. This module provides up to 25 kilowatts of direct DC charging to your electric vehicle eliminating the need for a separate AC charger or sub-panel in your garage. Meanwhile, your vehicle can power your home through this module when there is a grid outage. Point Guard is the first commercial battery system to offer this function. Finally, we're going to give a score comparing both products. We have six aspects, with five of them scored out of 10 points. Installation and maintenance are scored out of 20 points because of their importance to solar installers and DIY users. Configuration, Anka scores 7 points, while Point Guard scores 9. The 2-point difference is because the Anka X1 supports a maximum of 6 kilowatts, whereas Point Guard goes up to 11.4 kilowatts. Anka scales up to 30 kilowatt hours, 
While Point Guard can reach 37 kilowatt hours and offers more configuration options below that capacity, footprint, Anka scores 8 points, and Point Guard scores 9. This is because Anka requires to battery racks for systems larger than 20 kilowatt hours, while Point Guard only needs one. Environmental compatibility, Anka scores 7 points, and Point Guard scores 8. Point Guard's NEMA for X rating is superior to Anchor's NEMA 4, and it can operate in temperatures as low as minus 40 Celsius with its external winter coat. Installation and maintenance, Anka scores 17 points, while Point Guard scores 19. The difference lies in Point Guard's built-in CTs and simplified battery pack connections. Load flexibility, both products perform well, but Point Guard has slightly better functionality due to its smart load positions and simpler system cascading. The bonus feature goes to Point Guard for its integrated bidirectional DC EVE charger within the battery rack. Final score, Anka scores 47, while Point Guard scores 65. This score does not reflecting any price, quality, and brand factors. If you want to know any more detail about the functions of both products, Please write down your comment. And don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you.